Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about the flow of signal integrity, what are all the inputs that a signal integrity engineer requires and what are the output and deliverables of a signal integrity engineer. We will also discuss about the role of signal integrity engineer throughout the process of product development cycle. So first of all we will discuss about the inputs that a signal integrity engineer requires. So the inputs for a signal integrity engineer are number one the schematic, schematic is required. Number two, once the schematic is completed, then only the signal integrity part starts. And along with schematic, we need BOM. BOM is bill of materials. Bill of material is required. To get information on interfaces that we are going to use and the speed at which those interfaces are working. Interfaces and their speed. And their speed. So these are the requirements that we are going to take from the hardware team hardware design or hardware architect or you can take it from the hardware design engineer. So we need a schematic in order to check the connections that we are going to do. The bill of material bomb is also the important part as we will get the exact part number and we can search for the IBS models or the SPICE models on the vendor's website and we can fetch all these things for the transmitter and receivers. In case of interfaces, we are going to make a list of all the interfaces that we are going to use on the board and we have to characterize them in the form of parallel interfaces as well as serial interfaces. And after doing that, we should have an information of at what speed they are going to operate. What are their speeds and as per that only, we are going to search for the IBS and AMI models for that particular part. So here we have discussed about the inputs that an SI engineer requires. Now we will talk about the outputs that an SI engineer will provide. The outputs that a signal integrity engineer provides includes the reports for the pre-SI that reports contains the constraint that a CAD engineer should, should take care. CAD engineers are the people who are going to put do the routings, placement, all the components and they will give us the PCB design file that is in that may be in the form of .brd file that is the board file and these board files we are going to import in our tools and do the post SI analysis. You might have known about how we are going to do the pre-analysis. We require all these inputs. Then we will do the pre-analysis. We will give the constraint to the, to the CAD team. CAD team will take the inputs from the signal integrity engineer and they are going to do the placement, routing and they are going to create the port file and they are going to give it back to us. Then we are going to verify all the aspects that we have done in the in the pre-SI and once the information is and once everything is verified then we are going to create a report and send it to the hardware team. So we have made the list of outputs that we are going to do. Outputs are the layout constraints, layout constraints and the pre-SI report. That too we are going to do using simulation on tools.